Nassau County Executive Edward Mangano says attracting and expanding the film industry in Nassau County will bring much needed jobs to Long Island. You know, as a legislator, actually one of my first acts way back in uh, 1996 was to form a film commission because I recognized the importance that the film community could play in Nassau County's economy. It's uh, cultural uh, aspects of it are wonderful. It also provides jobs and opportunities. We recently filmed a movie in uh, the newly created Bethpage uh, Grumman Studios, and there Angelina Jolie shot Salt. And I had the firsthand uh, pleasure to uh, witness the uh, production of the movie from the ground up and see carpenters, electricians, and sculptors and art artisans go to work to create the sets and then uh, see all those that worked in the film industry come together to uh, shoot the movie there and wrap it up. It really was a wonderful experience and I'm very, very, very proud that Nassau County now has actual film studios so we can invite production companies in uh, to the county to do extensive filming as opposed to just looking for the scenic shots. We could actually come here and do the indoor uh, scenery shots, those that we produce here and uh, have a full service production studio for movies and TVs, commercials, uh, and uh, we're at the ready to continue towards that effort to make Nassau County a premier location to uh, shoot full-length production films. Grumman Studios here in Bethpage is one of two new Long Island movie studios that the county executive says he hopes will attract the film industry in a big way. Grumman Studios owner Perez Ferrazad took us on a tour of the facility. He says these former Grumman airplane hangars are perfect for movie studios. I thought this place should really be brought back to somewhat, you know, of a much better use than using it as a warehousing and what have you. you know. I purchased this property and it's somewhat unique. It's, it's, you have large spans of space without any columns and high ceilings, which are ideal for movie studios. And then I was... Uh, approached by uh, New York Film Commissioner's Office, Pat Kaufman, and also uh, the county executive, Nascar County Executive, who would be interested in turning this to studios. And, and I said, I think it's a wonderful idea. And that's how it got started. When I see 100, 150 people working in a site, you know, putting things together and just creating something, it creates jobs. It also creates jobs for the community, you know, you know taking for the caterers, to the supermarkets, to restaurants and gas stations, you know, it, it basically trickles down, you know, and it, it generates a lot of business. And that's the part that makes me excited. We started with the movie uh, Salt, which was a Columbia Pictures movie, which got released last summer. And you know, it was a large fe feature film. They shot the movie here. It took several months to build it, and, they, and then they shot it. Then they went back and after they, they edited it, then they needed to come back and reshoot it. So they did some reshooting in here. Then we had several commercials here done, you know, some uh, uh, large commercials and some smaller commercials. And then we had some pilots for TV shows done in here. The feeling that I'm getting is that we're going to probably get more of them because the stages in New York City are basically all booked up. And there's, if they, they want to shoot in New York, if it's a large feature, feature film, really there's no place to go but to come to us. Farazad says another reason for the increase in the film industry's popularity in New York is the tax incentive that the state approved a few years ago. The, the movie industry basically follows the money, if you, if you will. Uh, anywhere there's tax incentive and, you know, it's better tax incentive, that's where they go. Because at the end of the day, they could build the sets anywhere. Okay? and they could make it look like anything that they want inside a studio. So all that matters is, is the bottom line. So if they could make uh, you know, the production cheaper in a place or get better tax incentives, they go. And it's just, as it is that you know, the uh, U.S. has lost a lot of movies to Canada because they have a much better tax incentive. So, so right now, currently, New York has a good tax incentive. It's a 30% tax incentive that they, they give to these movies. And it's a, it's a five-year program. And I think it's, it's going to keep New York very busy. And Farazad says they decided to keep the name Grumman Studios to honor the history of the buildings. The industry always likes to refer to a, a, a place that pre-existed with the name associated with what was there before. Like, as in, a silver cup was a cupcake factory. Okay? 
we'll give an, an example. And uh, you know, initially we were wrong to name this uh, some different facility. Well, you know, I would want to call it LEM Studios, but the the people in, the, in moving the city always call it Grumman. So well, I said, there's really no reason to fight the crowd, and I think it's a it's a great name to to keep and carry on. And Farazad says it's important to remember that Grumman once built the airplanes that defended the country and the moon ships that reached for the stars. That's the reason we picked the name Grumman Studios, you know, to honor uh, what happened here, okay? And that's something that cannot be for forgotten. But as time goes forward, <clears throat> you know, I like to look into the future more than looking in the past. I want this industry to thrive and uh, to, uh, for the Grumman Studios to add to the credits that existed here. For more information, you can check out the website www.grummanstudios.com. In Beth Page, Chris Kalora reporting.